Hello. Welcome to Rick's Kids. My name is Rick. And this is my build. Here we have another update, part three, of the 132nd P51 Mustang from Tamiya for my hashtag under 1000 group build. Uh, in the last vid, you'll remember me saying that I got some uh, the carburetor ducts, the pipes, the accounting frame, and the rudder to do. Uh, we are on. So here we have the rudder, which is totally movable. It's got that pin system in it with some photo etch, which holds it in place. Um, you're supposed to glue it in with um, super glue. I haven't bothered. So I sort of messed up on the pin location. So if I need to pull it apart and change the pin locations around, I can. Got a bit of a cold coming on, which is a bit of a bummer considering I'm on. Excuse me for sniffling. I'm on holiday this week. Well, I've got a week off work. Um, here we got the uh, cowling frame with pipe work attached on there and flipped around uh, we've got the carburation duct on and we've got the pipe work on now with this bottom pipe work here can't, well it's all can't really see you've got both of them going into the same area attach the big f attach this one first because it locates underneath this one. I was trying to figure it out with the location spots on there and then I realised that that one must go on first. Then that one, it doesn't, doesn't tell you anywhere there. Attach this one first in that one. So there's a precursor for you. Um, so that's where that is up to date. So now we are on to the horizontal stabilizers. Let me just put this down before I drop it. Onto the horizontal stabilizers and the elevators. And tailwheel assembly. Um, you're not getting that in the in the picture. But you've got tailwheel assembly here. You've got deployed and you've got retracted. Um, I'm having mine flying. But I will be making both, and the reason for making both is I want to show you at the end of the build. Sitting on its wheels, and then on the stand in flying mode. So we'll be getting both parts made. There's enough pieces in the kit to do both parts for the tail wheel. Um, I've already started the horizontal stabilizers, and this is the... Um, Elevators, they've got those tiny little rods and little bits of photo etch to go in there. Um, I'll try and show you what I mean about it, but you know, there's the there's the two little rods there with a bit of photo etch, and getting them in there is a little bit fiddly when you've got sort of sausage fingers. So, yeah, that's what I'm aiming to get done on this small part, and then we are going to be dealing with the main landing gear bay and attaching the landing gear bay onto the lower wing section and getting ready to put um, all the guns and stuff like that in the next section so we haven't done too bad we're getting there still got a little ways to go because I'm not even Half, halfway through the booklet is here I've still got half of the booklet left to go when I've got something done I'll come back to you okay so back with a quickie just wanted to show you the P51 
pins the photo which pins and come see them and this camera oh there we go you got one here one here and I'll focus again and they're movable um this is this is one that I've already put on and attached and that's they slot into two little slots one up here one about here that's what I love. It gives you the movement on the air the horizontal stabilizers the elevators move this one's a bit loose i'm hoping that um it doesn't hang loose when it goes on here no that's cool a bit more stiffer so yeah there we go, that's what that's going to look like. I'll have to fix that in in a bit. I need to get this one on. I'll see you in a bit. Hello, welcome back. <clears throat> so uh, the last bit I was showing you is the uh, horizontal stabilizers. Uh, we've progressed quite a bit since then. Um, they're all done. I've got the tail wheel assemblies done. Both the retracted and the deployed. Um, I'm going to have the retracted in my aircraft because it's going to be flying. Um, I've completed main landing gear bays, uh, attaching the main landing gear bays to the lower um, wing root system. Then I've done all the gun bays the ammunition um, surfaces as well the top wings I've attached the top wings and also put the ammunition um, carriers into the guns as well so I'm now here I'll give you a quick look reach across So that is currently where it, we are at. I've got it on the stand at the moment. The wings are not glued on. Um, so the horror, so that all the rudder works, stabilizers, horizontal stabilizers work at the back. This section here is for the, <coughs> sorry, is for the aerolons and the flaps are the main parts of the wing so that's what's going to be happening next uh, like i said this this is not attached got all the upper surfaces attached um the gun bays with the um 50 cal main gun ammunition they're all in um there's the underside of the wheel bay the wing assembly still got to do a little bit of painting in here and then there's another part that needs to be attached on there um i'll do that get that attached when i've done this so let me quickly show you about the retracted so this is the re uh, this is the retracted section of the rear wheel. This is the deployed one. Um, there's magnets in there, and you see these two plates on the top, two bits of PE plate that goes on the magnet. So they literally just pull off. So if you want to go from fly into deployed, what you're going to do. Is swap them out 
place the deployed one in. The same happens up here with the wheels, with the landing gear on the front. You do a couple of little alterations on here, a couple of screw attachments for the wheels, and you can put the deployed wheels so you can have it down. That's where I'm at. It's getting closer. Um, I'm getting closer to getting this uh, finished. A little bit of a pain in the bum to get this deployed one out, but it does, there we go. It does come out. I'll put the retracted one back. So, yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. Looking good. Can't quite get it all in the camera. But not specifically on this stand, anyway, but there we go. All this green will disappear once we. Once we get the top uh, coat on, get the aluminium colour on. One thing I have managed to get hold of is um, the 332nd decals for the Tuskegee Airmen. Um, the Duchess Arlene is the one that I've managed to get hold of. Uh, got that off of Hannant's. Ordered that off Hannans this afternoon, so that will be uh, arriving some point this week, a couple of days, however. So, looking forward to having those decals. They're what I wanted in the first place, the uh, Tuskegee gigs. I do like the red tails, all red across the back, all red across the uh, yellow stripes down the side. So, yeah, looking forward to getting them, looking forward to putting them on. On. A bit different from Blondie, but that's what I wanted, and that's what so that's what's going to happen. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's it for this update on part three, and um, I thank my subscribers, all my new subscribers that have come on board. Uh, thanks, I appreciate you all, and um, hope you've had a good weekend. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.